Hello, this is Randy Jenkins, the Director of Distance Education at Passaic County Community College. The following video will present you with the basic steps for copying course content in Blackboard from one course shell to another. Starting in the spring 2015 semester, we are asking faculty uh, as far as possible to copy courses and course content themselves. The option is always open to you if you need assistance to contact the Distance Education Office and have that done for you. Uh, but we'd like to give you a try uh, to do it yourself. It's pretty easy and it allows you the convenience of copying course content when you want to do it. So first we start by logging into Blackboard. You will go to your My Institution page in Blackboard once you've logged in and you'll see the module in the center of the page, My Courses. The first thing you want to do is to access the course that you want to copy from. Uh, that's referred to in Blackboard as the source class or source course. So for the purposes of this video, our source course is going to be my own spring 2014 semester Western Civilization 1 course and I'm going to pretend that we're going to be copying this into my fall 2014 course shell. I'm not actually going to do it but you will be able to see all the steps. So first you need to go to the source course itself and in this case it is 14 SP HI 101 OL2 as seen on the screen. You'll want to scroll down until you reach the Instructor Area Control Panel under Course Management and you want to select the subheading link called Packages and Utilities. And as you might expect, the item from that menu that you're going to want to choose is Course Copy. So this is our first step. I select Course Copy and I'm presented with a new window with a new set of options. You will always want to copy from the Select Copy Type the second option from the drop-down list. And that second option is Copy Course Materials into an Existing Course. The creation of the course shell is done by the Distance Education Department. You do not have to do this yourself, so at no time will you be creating a new course. So the default option that appears here, copy course materials into a new course, is not what you want. You want to choose the second option, copy course materials into an existing course. It is an existing course because it has already been created by the Distance Education Department. The second thing, under Select Copy Options, you will want to browse to find the destination course. The destination course ID is the course shell that you want the content copied into. When you click Browse, as I've done here, you will be presented with all courses in which you are enrolled as instructor. What that means is that all courses in which you have been assigned as the instructor in Datatel, that is the college's student information system, and in Blackboard will appear for you. Let's take an example where you are looking to copy a course into a future semester, but you don't see that semester or course listed here the likelihood is that the Registrar's Office has not yet assigned you as an instructor in Datatel, the, students, uh, the college's student information system, yet. Um, you can always contact Donna Fisher or someone from the Registrar's area if you know you're going to be teaching a particular course and section with your chairperson's approval and have them assign your name there and your name will appear in Blackboard under instructor name within six hours of the um, population of that in Datatel. 
So in our experiment here, we were taking a spring 2014 semester course, and we were going to copy it over to a full 2014 semester course shell. Now notice that in most cases here, under the heading course ID, you will see the uh, standard naming nomenclature that we use for course and section names. Uh, yours will always appear, I have some strange ones in my particular list, but yours will always be much more like the model that is highlighted here in yellow. And that is to say, it begins with the academic year. Uh, in this case, the one that I'm highlighting is 14 FA. And uh, that is uh, followed by a hyphen. The department or course area uh, follows next. In this case, HI hyphen followed by the uh, course number 101 and finally followed by a hyphen and the section code. In this case, the one that I'm pointing to is OL2. And just very briefly to show you, uh, again, that's repeated here. You'll see the sample course ID 14FAHI101. In this case, I've chosen M01, M01, uh, to indicate that this is a course that meets on the Patterson campus. Um, and here are your semester abbreviations. They may not be entirely familiar to you, so let me give them here to you. Uh, FA is fall, the 15-week semester. E1 is the fall, 12-week semester. SP is rather obviously the spring, 15-week semester. E3 is not so obviously the spring, 12-week semester. And our two summer semesters are designated either as SU, for summer one and S9 for summer two. Please don't ask why um, enrollment services have named SU for summer one and S9 for summer two. I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that one. Okay, back to what we were doing in Blackboard. Now I'm going to be copying that spring for 2014 semester course into a shell from the fall 2014 semester. So I simply select the course shell I want to copy into by using the radio button. I scroll down in order to submit and you will see that the name of the destination course, the course you're copying into, will appear in the uh, form field. And finally, uh, what do you want to copy? I suggest that you simply select all. Uh, if you want to get fancy and you don't want to copy certain things but you want to copy other things, your best bet is to contact the distance education department and let those folks help you do your course copying. But if you want an exact 100% copy of what you had from an earlier semester, then the option to choose here is select all from the select course materials area. You'll scroll down. Those, by the way, once you select all, all the relevant fields you'll see here will be correctly populated. Um, there are certain fields such as availability, duration, enrollment options, which are not selected automatically. You should not, uh, I repeat, should not select them manually because this will interfere with uh, enrollments population in the classes. When it comes to file attachments, uh, the subheader that you see on the screen now, your option should be to select the default option only, please, which is copy links and copies of the content. Do not select option one, do not select option three. Uh, option two only, copy links and copy of the content. And finally, under the heading enrollments, please do not, please, again, do not select the include enrollments. If you do this, you're going to copy the enrollments from the source course that has probably already finished into the next semester's course or the future course, and it will prevent new enrollments from being processed automatically. The distance education department processes enrollments for you. 
you don't need to worry about enrollments in any way shape or form to finish this you simply need to click submit which I'm not going to do because I have content in that fall semester course already um, you will receive a notification that it has been done and you will also receive an emailed statement of the success or non-success of the course copy. Um, I do strongly advise you to take a quick look at that. Uh, sometimes there are indicators that uh, something has gone wrong and it may need to be done again or if in case something has gone wrong your best bet is again to contact the distance education department and we'll look into it for you. So in fact the process of copying a course is quite easy um, it only is going to take uh, a matter of uh, a couple minutes of your time and we hope that this video has given you the basic steps for being able to take over the responsibility of copying your own course shells and blackboard yourself good luck any problems any questions contact the distance education office you can call me directly 973-684-5790 and I'll be more than glad to help. Have a good day.